Hi guys, today we are going to talk about the X Lite in a bit after, but I want to show you my new camera stand I bought a few days ago. This camera stand is designed for making videos like it'll be good for a TikTok star because they can just dance on it. Yeah, because that's what you do, you hold your phone onto it, and when you hold on your phone to it, you can record it. it means I'm gonna use this for my video making on this channel to photograph space this is the box this is a planetary planets with design for planets kit this comes with lenses filters and all this and cloth it's going to be exciting we're going to do an unboxing video anyways just opening it up i don't do unboxing videos very often and my, my next content do a cloudy weather because my birthday in three days so i've got to have to I'm going to unbox something exciting to do with astronomy. Anyways, I'm just getting this. Oh, not instructions. No one reads the instructions. Goodbye. Actually kidding. It's actually very important instructions. You should always read it. But I'm just going to, I'm just going to, you know, look at it. You know, I don't want to read the instructions to you because this video is going to take like three days if we read all that the cloth means so if your filters or lenses get dirty give it a little scrape very very important get a next this anyways oh wow got all these choices these are the i think these are the uh filters and these are the lenses let's let's look at some of these things looking at is the special 15 millimeter eyepiece it's actually quite rare to get those type of eyepieces normally it's a 10 or 25 mil so it's nice to be kind of in the middle this eyepiece work work quite good on the planet it's like there's nothing really to look for. It just looks a little bit murky. Nothing interesting. Da, 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 da. Nothing in the sky. Anyways. Let me show you the 9 mil. Anyways. That's it. Anyways. Let's just put it back in. See ya. Right now, we've got my next equipment. This is a 9mm lens. The 9mm is quite a lot more powerful so I'll show you right now, just, oh, this is taking ages, right, this is it, you can see, it's not, it's, you got, you, the gap's a little lot different, I'll even improve right now, the, the gap between the 15mm comparing it to the 9mm, you'll get the difference, I saw you get the difference, the 15mm comparing to the 9mm, it is a little different, how can we get it to the same? There we go, you see the difference now. Put the lids on, we're going to show you the filters now. This is the next exciting part. I've safely put it back, but now I'm going to show you the moon filter. So when the full moon appears really bright, that happens mostly in winter time, where the moon is like too bright to look at, this is the perfect thing to, you know you need to use. You need to use one of these and see where you get green views. And right now the moon is actually up. So I want to try this on for the moon. Let's go. I'm just using the green filter. And if clouds die by that where there the moon, you won't be able to see it. But that though, if I move my fingers a little bit, is the moon filter. Is yeah, because the moon is right up there. I'm just testing it on one of these filters anyways got the stand with me now because we've shown you the uh, moon filter now i want to introduce you to the mars this pic this view of this is designed for martian atmosphere designed for, for planets specifically mars related to it because really red just get that i look like an alien uh, I look completely like an alien with this. It's cool, eh, isn't it? What you've got there. <laughs> because this is definitely designed for planets like Mars. 
Mars are very, very, very cool planet. You can also use this to planets such as Venus too, where Venus will be probably one of my first planets to photograph. But yeah, I'm going to test it on the moon without filming right now. This is the Martian filter anyways. Incredible photo filter. Because looking out there, it's just amazing because... I think Mars will work really good with this because there's a conjunction coming of Venus and Mars conjunction. So on the 13th of July, it should be the ha it should be high enough to actually get. This red filter will definitely, bang God, do a good job. Let's pick the next filter. The last filter, actually. These we use for, like, the gas giants, like Jupiter, Saturn... You know them like popular ones, like like the. Let's tell you a joke. Saturn. Popular the word Saturn is. This worked really well for the rings on Saturn. The also the detail on Jupiter. I want to see if this makes you more like an alien. Let's see. Oh yeah. Let's see. We we'll get it in camera. Let's see. We we'll get it in camera. Okay, this looks kind of cool. At least we're going to test it outside. This is a pretty cool plan. Pretty cool filter. I think you should give it a try before we end the video. I tried it. It was a pretty decent filter, actually. I like it a lot. Anyways, if you like this video, please subscribe. I keep saying this every video. I don't post for a week, but I will post a bit more again. Skies don't look very good. So in boxing videos, my birthday very soon, and we do another unboxing video. I sure get some finastro equipment wise. This is just this is something I've not really looked through yet. I bought actually had it from Christmas, but you know, I haven't used it yet. Because it's so we're going to try it on the planet, the get on the moon. I have experienced moon photography, but we haven't really done planetary because we normally do the you know what I mean? deep sky but i hope you learned a bit about planets anyway see you later bye